what day of the week was August 13th, 1911? Uh, Sunday. What day of the week was May 20th, 1921? Friday. What day of the week is February 3rd in the year 2068? That will fall on a Friday. What date was the third Saturday in October in 1945? It was on the 20th. What day of the week was May 30th in the year 1? May 30th, the year 1, was on a Wednesday. This is remarkable, George. You got every one of these right. Right. What makes his talent so extraordinary is that with his limited intellectual capabilities, he cannot multiply even the simplest numbers. I'd like to try some math questions, if, if you don't mind. No. Some arithmetic. Can you do three times two? Three times two is, uh, is it, uh, seven, is it? Or, uh, how about five times seven? Five times seven might be, be... Besides calculating days and dates, George also remembers the weather for each day of his adult life. We checked him against the weather service, and of course he was right. November 3rd, 1958. What kind of day was it? It was on a cloudy day. It was on a Monday. It was cloudy that day. That's right. It was? And it was a snow flurries that morning. Very cold. <laughs> a little bit of raindrops, too. Windy? Yes, windy. How about May 22nd, 1940? That fell on a Wednesday. What was the weather like? I can't tell. I was, I was, it, was too, it was only a baby, infant baby. Do you know how you do it? I don't know, but just, just that's, that's fantastic I can do that. But how do you do it? I don't know. What happens inside your head? I've got, got a good mind, that's why I do it. But do you have a formula that you work out? you know what I mean by a formula? Yes, what's it mean? Do you yeah. have a, a... Do you multiply certain numbers by yeah, certain numbers? Yes, any date, yes. Yes, I know how to do it.